are with our part two in our series of basic watercolors for beginners. Uh, this is going to be um, how to do an art feather and I'm using the same set that I had before. This is uh, Daniel Smith watercolors. Uh, this is a custom set of uh, my favorite colors. Um, you, uh, I, I think Daniel Smith come in the tube. Uh, so you would need to buy tubes. Um, I bought these off of a lady on Etsy and um, She put this put them together for me. So uh, anyway, I'm going to do um, And I don't ever clean my palette because that's really good paint still so I don't clean it I just work with it, but um, I'm gonna go into a uh, I believe it's phalo blue. No, I think I'll use ultramarine blue instead. And I'm going to mix it with Quinn Coral that I had here before <clears throat> to get kind of a purple color. And I'm not going to mix it too hard because I kind of want it to be separated. And I'm just going to do one feather and then you guys can take the technique and run with it. Like, just do whatever you want. <clears throat> so there's that one. And then I'm going to take, while it's still wet, I'm just going to go into right into that ultramarine blue. And just kind of mix it up. There. You guys need to be able to see. It's all, it's all kind of blurry. All right, and then um, let's see what goes with this blue. Let's let's try some green since I have it on my palette already. And you just kind of mix it in. And just kind of make it into a feather shape. And that's it. That's that's how easy they are. Um, let's try another one. And okay, so this is this color right here is called. Ultramarine Turquoise. And it's gorgeous. I love this color so much. Okay, and I'm going to do that one. And I have Opera Pink, but to be honest, I kind of hate that color. Um, it's so bright, and I'm just not... I don't even know why I bought it. Okay, so here's Carmine. And... Carmine's a nice red color. And because I want color color harmony, guys, remember I talked about that last time, I'm going to take that ultramarine turquoise. So I have ultramarine turquoise on my brush. And I'm going to mix it with carmine. And look at that gorgeous dark purple that I got. It's just to die for. Okay, um... I love mixing colors it's so much fun and if you're watercoloring and you're not mixing colors then you're missing out guys you need to mix some colors it's fun to see what you can come up with so this is a really nice inky dark purple color <clears throat> and because the colors are mixed they're not going to be as vibrant as if it were a color on its own and uh, that's just because when you mix colors, they tend to mute out a little bit. So here we have the the purple color. I'm going to go back into Carmine, and I'm just going to mix it over here. And I never like to go dra directly from the pot to the paper because I feel like it puts too much pigment on the paper. So I always like to just go directly from my palette to my paper. Okay, and then I had this one here, so I'm gonna use this one next. And it just automatically made that purple color, which is totally fine. And I'll grab a little bit more. And I'm gonna start it up here so that it doesn't mix in, because I really want that color to stand out there see so much fun 
And then you can let the paint move if you want to. And I'm gonna dry this and be right back. Okay, so before I dry this, I'm gonna blot it up a little bit. And then I'll dry it, because I don't really want that color to pool there. And I don't mind the texture that I'm getting from the paper towel, so that doesn't bother me. Now I'm gonna dry it and I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, the next thing that I like to do is take that gold uh, gel pen again, and then I just like to draw the shape of my feather. <clears throat> now you can do this however you like. Um, and you know how feathers have those little fuzzies down there at the end? Now you can zen doodle in here and make all kinds of different designs. That's a lot of fun. Um, or you can just draw it like I am. And I am not trying to be precise with this. I want the essence of a feather, not an actual feather. So that's how I do. All right, so there are two feathers which you guys can blend any colors that you like. But isn't that pretty? All right, well, uh, have fun with making those and um, I will see you next time. When... All righty, bye-bye. <laughs>